All right, hey folks. So I um, wanted to make a video here of my first ever uh, Pokemon box opening. And to give you a little background, I'm a Magic the Gathering player. <laughs> I've been playing since 1995. And while I've played many other card games along the years, mostly the older stuff like Middle Earth and Wheel of Time and Warlord and mostly dead old card games that came and went, my closet's full of them. Um, I've never actually opened a box as much less played a game of Pokemon. And, you know, I've seen a few Pokemon cards here and there, but I've only seen, I think I've actually seen one Charizard. I couldn't tell you what set it was from. And I've seen a few other random Pokemon cards that might've been in a collection, but probably no more than about a dozen of them in person, in hand, so I have no idea what to expect. I have, of course, played some of the video games, and um, I know at least some of the character names and so on and so forth, but I have no clue how to play the game. And I'm wanting to see what all the, the excitement is over this card game. And, you know, this will help also with us being able to carry some singles in the near future on the Punk Outer website. So check us out there. Uh, but again, all we've ever done is had sealed product. So I'm going to open up a box of Chilling Rain. Figured, why not? If we're going to start with something, we're going to start with this. So let's check it out. See what we got. See what all of the excitement is over this card game. And give you some comparisons and thoughts as I go. All right. Yeah, see, I couldn't even tell you who some of these characters are. Probably people on the cards. Doesn't look like anything I know from the video game. Or video games, I should say. Okay, cool. So here we go. Let's set aside these packs. Booster packs I've seen, touched, and held, of course. All right, let's open our first pack. Okay, so first of all, I am apparently incapable of opening these packs. All right, what is the trick here? Y'all, there's no tear spot. <laughs> I guess I just gotta work at it until, oh my God, this is already pathetic, right? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Resort to the knife method. All right. Oh, my Lord. I swear I'm capable of tying my own shoes in the morning. All right. So first thoughts are the booster packs are insanely difficult to open. <laughs> Magic, of course, has uh, booster packs that are insanely difficult to open. But boy, oh, boy, that went to a different level. So I don't know what I'm looking for here. Obviously, I know that they have shiny stuff and cool stuff. <laughs> But I'm not even sure where the rarity symbol is on this. Um, of course, there's a card set number. And boy, I think I guess I'll just have to figure it out as I go. So that is a Larvesta, a Sobble. The symbol down at the bottom is E. Okay, so there's something shiny and fancy. Is E on all the cards? Yeah, okay, so that's clearly not a uh, not a set symbol. I'm looking for a rarity symbol, because I don't know. Um, I'm highly doubting that's a rare, of course. I don't know which of these cards is going to be the rare card, which of them is going to be the uncommons, and so on. Um, hopefully, this shiny... Wow, that's a cool shining. Wow, that foil process is pretty awesome. Neato. Um, so, yeah. Whoa. Man, Magic doesn't have anything like this stuff. This is fancy. So how does one tell if a card is rare? Okay. I see. So there's a circle on those. And then that has a star. And that has a star. All right. Energy. Yeah. Uh, at least I know that's nothing fancy. And that has a diamond. Okay. So we're on to something here. Diamonds are different than circles. Last I checked. There's a code for y'all if you want it. 
Cool. All right. Um, so we'll put our circles into one pile and our shiny stars in another pile and our diamonds in a third. So if I had to take a guess, commons, uncommons, and our rares. All right. Let's see what else we got. What was that anyway? Mol Molters, Moultries, 5V. Yeah. Oh God, another pack that's impossible to open. Let's see if I can do this without sending myself to the hospital. There we go. Cool, all right. So here we go. All right, circles, commons, I'm assuming. Commons, and there's another shiny with that cool little fancy star foil process that, boy, magic just has nothing on Pokemon with that stuff. And another star. Looks like the same, or not the same, similar type of foil. Oh, interesting. So the foil on these is only in the picture. This is a, another kind of a foil process. And then we've got a third kind of foil process on this really pretty one. Whatever that one is, that's my favorite so far. Neat. Cool, cool. Another code for y'all. All right, let's see. I hope y'all getting a kick out of this. Old Magic the Gathering player finally opening his first Pokemon cards. Far-fetched. Porygon. Uh, Porygon. Heracross. Sobble. Inke. And cast form. Rainy form. Weather. Reads the weather. And there's another one of those really pretty foils. I think that name is on one of the other boxes. Maybe an ETB? I don't know. Cal Calyrex V? <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. I don't have anybody here to help me pronounce these things, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go. Brawly, Salio, and Fog Crystal. Another code for you. All right. I don't even know what the chase card is in this set. I know, obviously, if Charizard is in a set, that's usually your chase card, but I don't even know if Charizard's in this set. Another Farfetch'd, a Weedle. I know to catch those. Cast Form, Diglett. See, I recognize these from the, uh, the Pokemon game that we have on our Switch. My daughter and I play. And a Zangoose. Rapid Strike. See, now that one doesn't have... A shiny. Interesting. I wonder how they figure out what to make shiny and what not to. Hmm. Cur cur Curlia. Evolves from Ralts. I wonder what that means. All right, another code for you. <laughs> so it looks like there's evolving in the game. Obviously, I guess, of course, you know, in the Switch game. You catch your Pokemon and you can evolve them up. But you gotta do it in certain ways. Like, you know, some EVs you can't evolve unless it's a certain weather out and they like you and you have a certain stone and all those fun things. All right, uh, so there we're through the commons. In theory, we have a doctor and an Inteleon. Interesting. And curly adjustified gl gloves and weeding gloves. Apparently, there's a lot of gloves in this game. And your code for this pack. Gloves, huh? Oh, I keep wanting to try to open the pack. Like a normal pack. These things are childproof, obviously, because I can't open them, so therefore they must be childproof. Ghastly, coughing, kind of a nice looking card. All right, 
Now we've got a spirit bomb with that fun, fancy foiling. A seviper, 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 I guess would make sense. <laughs> seviper. I'm special. Raboot. At least it's not a pair of gloves. Corellia again. And your code for that one. Cool. All right. Golet. Clob Clobopus. Aw. Cast form. Hitena. Aaron. Spelled funky. And our foil fancy one, Urshifu. Urshifu. <laughs> I said, don't laugh at me, folks. Galade, Galad, Galady, Galade. <laughs> Ooh, Steeny. Steeny. All right. And your code for that. So I'm assuming maybe these are like ones we're looking for. Hopefully they exist as actual cards. And that's why they are on the packs. Shop it. It's a will o wisp. Squaw it. <laughs> feel. Wow. Man, I feel like I'm learning a new language here. <laughs> All right, our fancy foil on this one is Possimian. Possimian. And another trainer, Karen's Conviction. Oh, wow. A, yet another foil process? This one almost looks wavy. How do you tell what each foil is? Cool. I like that little wavy looking foil. Rocket helmet and more gloves. Helmets and gloves and all that fun stuff. All righty. Age six and up, huh? Another Ghastly, Poor Gion, Swirlix, Sneasel. All right, a light Lyran, Lyran, Tackle with Metal Claw. And another fancy art, Blaziken V, High Jump Kick, and a Fire Spin. I'm assuming these are like resources that you somehow generate throughout playing the game, and then you spend the resources to do those abilities. And you can see down here, like, resistance, and who the heck knows. And there's even more microprint down there. V rule. When your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Prize cards? Is that, like, anti in magic? That'd be bad. There you go. Prize cards. Knocking out poor Pokemon. Oh, it's a sheep with a growl. I didn't know sheep could growl. Don't mess with that sheep. All right. A bunny that's pushing a giant snowball. Well, that's interesting, and it can headbutt you too. All right. Kecleon, maybe? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Path to the Peak, Hatram, and Lyrion. Lyron again. There you go. All right. Delibird Larvesta, the sheep again. Clobopus and our foil shaman. And a Volcarona. Volcarona. Interesting. So compare that with the other one that also had fire. Oh, where'd you go? The other fancy one. Ah, eh, whatever. It's going to kind of compare the abilities and the numbers and stats, but I'm incapable of doing anything at the moment. So a different kind of energy, huh? Thwacky. So, so far, card stock feels about the same. But 
the foil process is pretty cool. I kind of like the newest textured foil that's in the Magic the Gathering sets. Uh, really, the Magic Gathering set, like Baldur's Gate. Um, you know, they've done terrible jobs with uh, the etched foils in the earlier sets. Like, you can't even see the etched foil, for instance, in the Strixhaven stuff. But, but that's about it. Magic has never really gotten too fancy with this, like, really cool-looking foil. These patterns are built into the foil outside of, like, some guild symbols, like, in one little spot. Or the really fancy ones that only show up under UV light, uh, like the ampersand promos. So, very neat. I kind of like some of this. Runaragus? <laughs> yeah, we'll just say it's a Runaragus. Old cemetery, huh? <clears throat> I wonder if there's some other fancy foils we haven't seen yet in this box. I really like that one that was like wavy foils that was way early on. I haven't seen another one like that, have we? And a coughing foil. Interesting. So you can so this slot seems to be reserved for foils of any rarity. Whereas this is a I don't know. I guess this is the rare card, probably, and it can be foil. Or it can be super special. I guess. Just figuring it out as I go. The best part about this is <clears throat> I can't be wrong, because nobody can tell me that I'm wrong. And I just won't read any of the comments in the video. In fact, I'll turn all the commenting off. That way you can't tell me that I'm wrong. Oh my god, I should have brought scissors. <laughs> oh, wow. Our best uh, inky. Okay, so another trainer. So yep, we've got the, this time it looks like it's uncommon with that fancy foil. And then another Volcarona. So we've gotten that one twice now. And your code. Volcarona. Hope that's a good card. Got it twice. Probably not. I don't have great luck. Unless I'm opening packs for somebody else. And then I can open up like the best cards that there are. Melanie and Foil, and a Doug, Doug Trio. So I guess it's three of the little dig dudes, diglets. Chest plate. Alrighty, moving right along. Dooby dooby doo. Oh my god. So yeah, wow, so there's another one of those fancy schmancy ones. So that one's a rare with the fancy art and a Gorlock, normal Gorlock. There you go, whoops, helps if I turn that right side up, unless you turn your computer upside down or your phone, if you're watching it from your phone. Let me know. If I'm missing something, you know, flipping through and you're going, hey, actually, you should be paying attention to the uncommon slot or, you know, there's commons and these are really good for X, Y, and Z. And yeah, uh, where are we at? Here we are. Okay, we got our first pair of gloves in foil and a sir fetched. So apparently you can be knighted as a duck and impact people. Sir Fetched, the duck, or whatever they're called in, in Pokemon. I don't remember seeing those in gosh, Pokemon Let's Go or whatever the heck that is we're playing on the Switch. <laughs> Never did get any of the um, very old Pokemon games that were on the Nintendo DS, and before that, the regular old little Nintendo handhelds. Gengar. What is that? A so that's a rare with the fancy foil, and a tapu fini with a half foil. I don't know what to call that. 
regular foil maybe, where it's just the picture that's foiled. Not a big fan of that. I like it when the whole card is foiled versus just the picture. What's interesting here is none of these cards seem to be suffering from the famous Magic the Gathering uh, curling. Or in Magic the Gathering, as soon as it hits humidity, these cards can curl one way or another, depending upon if it's too humid or not humid enough. And Agron, not quite Aragorn. Man, this dude has a lot of text on this card. And um, here in Florida, especially, where I'm at, the humidity can be pretty bad. It can be like you open your door and you immediately start to feel like you are swimming when you're taking a walk. And so it can kind of do some fun things to cards outside. Of course, I'm in a humidity controlled room here, which helps. But still, even then, magic cards tend to foil badly in some cases because just getting to you um, in the box and through the shrink wrap, it can still get some humidity on the way. All right, so we've got two rares that are one foil wheezing and then a regular scully, scullypede. So yeah, none of these seem to be at all affected by the humidity here, which is good. I wish um, Wizards of the Coast would figure that out, fix their foiling process so that it isn't so bad. I think one of the other games, Flesh and Blood, has really good, nice foiling, although it's a bit too subtle on some of their cards and difficult to see. So there we go. We got another one of these fancy-looking ones, a Galarian Slowking V. So I'm going to guess that these are probably the fanciest versions that you can get in the set. It seems to be a bit rarer than the other foils. Also, it just looks nicer. Um, but... I don't know what all that stuff does. Cool. Either way. There's your code. So how's the uh, Pokemon Online work? It's just a client that you download and then you put in your codes and then you get uh, a card or a card sleeve, something random like a booster pack. Curious how that works. Snore, Runt, and Spirit Bomb for the two rare spots. Oops. Sorry. There you go. Yeah, so what do those unlock on their own Pokemon Online? I know they don't sell for very much, like maybe a buck on eBay or something before fees and all of your time invested. Typically not worth uh, much effort. Cast form and foil and a scroll of piercing. Oh, wait. Do we have... Am I crazy? Okay, I am crazy. For some reason, I thought that was foil. I'm like, do we have multiple foils? And Gallade. I'm just crazy. Don't tell anybody. Rock and ride along. So I think we've got three of those V basics or Vs. I don't know what to call them, the really fancy art and the fancy foil process. Hi, Avery. Malamar. Rapid Strike Tentacles. 40x. That sounds like a big number. I guess it is a lot of tentacles. Is it squid? If you defeat it, can you make calamari? All right, whipping through the commons. There's our foil, and then our rare is thunderous with the foil only in the picture. Picture foil. We'll call it picture foil because that's got to be what it is, right? Totally picture foil instead of full art foil. No, I guess it's not full art foil. Picture foil versus full foil versus V basic foil versus. I don't know what that one was that we haven't seen any more of early on. Zarud. Boy, that guy looks angry. Repeatedly whipping people. 
What is the safe word, I wonder, for Zabrud? Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Deerling. And a foil crab, crab brawler. See this thing. So we got our fourth one of these. This time it says, uh, oh God, Zerera, Zerera, oh why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> a, a ZV, how about that? Yeah, okay. Somebody tell me how to pronounce that thing because I'm hopeless. Hopeless. So we've gotten four of those. Maybe they aren't as rare as they look. They do look very cool though. A thwacky foil and a bennet that evolves from something. <laughs> and your Pokemon Go card or whatever that is, a Pokemon.com slash redeem. I wonder what the online game is like. Is it just like the um, in-paper game? Do you get to do multiplayer in this game, or is this game only a single-player game? Wheezing. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, he needs some help. Poor Wheezing or Weezer. All right, we're down to our last six packs. And again, I have no idea if I opened anything cool, fun, valuable. Just doing this to check the stuff out. Tapu. And here is, boy, is this our fanciest one yet? A Calyrex VMAX. Man, that horse looks nice. Ride the High King, Max Lance. Your Pokemon VMAX is knocked out. Your opponent takes three prize cards. Hmm. So I guess when they knock out the really big, nice ones, they get more prize cards, whatever prize cards are. And it evolves from Ice Rider. See, I know that one from uh, the Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, that's one of the cards or the pictures on the ETB. Very cool. Wow. The foil on that thing is even almost textured. Oh, it's like that other card. Okay, so this is our second one with this really cool fancy foil where, yeah, you can actually feel it. I didn't even notice that with the first one. It's almost like a, your fingerprint. Very cool. Wow. Very nice. Okay, I found my favorite card at this point. Of course, watch it be the most expensive one out of all that we've opened. That's how they get you. These packs, I'm telling you, they are something else. All right, Malamar for our foil, Serena for our rare. More gloves, because they don't have enough gloves in this game. And down to five remaining. Hope this is funny for you guys because again I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. Venipede and Ampharos. Ampharos? Ampharos? Probably Ampharos. See that it's a thunder type. I know sort of what that means. Pokemon's basically the uh, most complicated version of rock, paper, scissors, I believe. <laughs> Every Pokemon has a type. Sometimes it has multiple types. And those types have strengths against, against multiple types and weaknesses against multiple types. And so, yeah, good luck remembering what all of those are. Wall Rain. Oh, this dude has like a massive mustache. Or maybe he's just blowing his nose. And he was really congested. Poor thing. I mean, I get really congested when I'm cold too. 
because I am used to Florida heat. I do not do well in cold. There's your code. All right, four packs remaining. Okay, we got our foil trainer and another fancy, yeah, it's another one of those textured foils, a Metagross or Metagross, Metagross VMAX. I can't tell what the hell that picture is. What is that supposed to be? Evolves from Metagross V. Okay, so you start off with one of the almost as fancy ones that are the Vs, and then somehow you evolve them into a VMAX, which I guess is the most evolved form. And then, of course, you give your opponents the most prize if they knock you out. So there must be some risk-reward system based upon that. Again, I have no idea what prizes are in this game. Probably not anti like Magic the Gathering. In the original early days of Magic the Gathering, whenever you sat down to play a game with your opponent, you each of you anteed a card from your deck, and you'd set it off to the side, your card and your opponent's card. And... Um, Whoever won the game won both cards, so it was, yeah, it was kind of bad or good, depending upon how you thought of it, but it was not very popular and it did not last too long. Pessimian again, as a rare. All right, last pack, folks. Last pack. So we've got two of the VMAX, I believe, right? So if those are considered like the mythic rares or whatever, that means we've got two in a box. All right, here's our last rare, and it's another Seviper. So not a very exciting way to end it, but again, I have no idea if that's good or fun or whatever. So there you go. So again, in short, booster packs are impossible to open. Um, the card stock feels nice. I like a couple of the foil variants, especially that textured foil that's on those VMAXs. That um, is really nice. I really, really like that. And um, the cards themselves are kind of hard to read. Like, you definitely have to have good vision to be able to read all of that in the bottom area. But I imagine that as you get familiar with the game, oh, come on, focus, whatever. Get familiar with the game, you can probably at a glance look at that stuff and know that hey, if it's a V Max, it's always going to be your opponent gets prize three, and you know if it's a regular V, your opponent gets a prize two, and you don't have to actually read some of the fine print stuff. But that's it. One of these days, I'll sit down and learn how to actually play the game. But in the meantime, I'll probably open some other boxes from other sets just to see what the cards look like inside of there. And uh, that's it. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't laugh at me too much. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all sticking through it all the way to the end. Thanks so much. Bye.